Uh, it's a beautiful evening at the end of March 2020 and for the last couple of weeks the world has been going through a major, major um, shock. Um, some would say it's been manufactured. We'll leave that aside for now. Uh, there's a couple of points that at this time of what the Chinese would call crisis, which is both danger and opportunity, probably more than ever before, there's a couple of questions that I invite you to consider. I invite you to ask yourself and then to really sit and wait for an answer to come from within. The first question is, who should you listen to? The difference between accurate information and information that comes with some hidden agenda, that difference today is the difference quite possibly between life and death, either for you or for somebody you know closely. Think about that. Who you listen to, who you believe, and the stories that you're being told. Which ones you take and say, I choose to believe this one. I choose to discard that one. That one I choose to discard based on research I'm willing to do. Which is the next question. How teachable are you? How willing are you to push aside everything you think you know and everything you believe and consider with an open, clear mind something that you hadn't heard of before or something that you had heard of and dismissed as being other than acceptable for you? Because right now, this is a moment of climax in the history of certainly our generation. When you look at the world wars and the depression and everything that's gone on in the previous century, you realize this is not really as challenging as many of our previous generations of our ancestors going back seven generations. What did they face compared to what we're facing? What we're facing is having to stay home, and being able to count on the government to protect us, but also to provide for us. <laughs> They'll send checks. Is there a threat to you personally and to those you know? Well, that depends on the quality of information that you have. I'm going to say that again because this is everything. This is everything. Whether or not there's a real danger, a real threat to you and those you love and care about, depends on how open you are to alternative perspectives. Because the mainstream perspective, what you're being asked to believe is, we're all in mortal danger, there's no prevention or there's no cure for this, seemingly out of nowhere, appearing threat. The whole world's locked down. I mean, that's... that's a month ago, that was unimaginable. And now here we are. The whole world is like being told to go home and stay within. And I think that is such a beautiful, beautiful metaphor for what we're being asked to do 
each of us individually is to go within. Sit quietly and see and hear and feel what resides within you, within me, what resides within me that I am too busy to notice, to pay attention to? What messages is my body, is my unconscious um, mind, my inner child, if you like, saying, pay attention to me, and what do I ignore every day? Well, now I have no more excuse. <laughs> I can't run out to the distractions. I'm here, alone, with an opportunity <laughs> to explore within what this God-given circumstance is intending to gift me if I so ask and I so open myself to receive and to look at and say, teach me, I know nothing. I know nothing of the world. I know nothing of what is going on now. And if you have that attitude every day, you will discover things that would have otherwise been totally outside your realm of experience and your radar. Not in my backyard. <laughs> takes on a whole different meaning when it comes to alternative information alternative to consensus reality, alternative to the main stream media's ongoing, incessant narrative of what you are to believe and what you are to feel. And more than anything else, should you choose to accept this mission, there you go, <laughs> And your mission, and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to explore behind the curtain, to look deeper than what you think is going on, to say, yes, and what else do I not know that I want to look at? Throw me the most, what seemingly would be bizarre explanations, narratives, stories, alternative realities. I'll look at any of them. Because what I see going on in the mainstream media is just, I don't accept that anymore. There's something else going on, and I'm open to learning. I'm opening to listening to anybody and asking, what's your evidence? Where's your research from? Are you just talking smoke from the top of your head, or can you point to things and say, this and this and this and this. And I believe they all add up to that. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Because right now, I mean, this is way, way, way beyond coincidence. The timing. The way the whole world fell into lockstep. So quickly over something that is going to turn out to be relatively, relatively benign. So, as in the rest of your life, in the rest of my life, the quest for truth continues. This is really a um, mission for truth warriors to keep searching, keep pulling back the curtains, keep checking around the corner, keep prying, keep prodding, keep asking and keep peeking behind that curtain. <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. And when it is over, there's going to be tremendous celebration for what all this has been leading up to. May the truth prevail. <laughs>